Next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is Chandler Prop. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite not black kid, Chandler Crump, as Joe Biden would like to describe me. Or notable exception, or cockroach jumping on his lap, as that's what Joe Biden sees me as, right? Right? Yikes. What's going on, Philadelphia? I want to hear Woo! you out there. Woo! So just tell me, how you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? Woo! Woo! That's great. Now, before I, before I begin my speech, I just want to say, a couple minutes ago, we heard the Liberty Bell ring. We heard the bell ring. What does that stand for? What is that symbolism? Freedom, yeah. liberty, freedom, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, everything that this nation stands for, the American flag and Trump. And you want to know why I associate Trump and the American flag? Because he stands for all those things I just discussed. The Constitution, our freedom. These are the same freedoms that the massive left wants to take away. I think I lost the beat for a second, but these are the same things that the massive left wants to take away. Now when you look at me, I'm a kid, right? I'm not, I'm not an adult. I am 15 years old. And yet, I was willing to come out here and speak. I'm here to shatter expectations. A lot of you out there may be thinking, Generation Z is lost. Generation Z are socialists. Generation Z are communists. Generation Z are the ones out there destroying buildings, destroying property, and saying black lives matter. But all lives matter. And there is a good portion of Generation Z that believes this. I am here to represent that portion. I am here to instill hope in the future, because I know countless people that are older than Generation Zers for sure, that have come out to say, I've lost hope in this nation. I've lost hope in the future. Because all the mainstream media, social media companies, all they ever show you is Generation Zers that stand for things that this nation doesn't stand for, that stand for socialism, that stand for the burning of the Constitution, that stand for the burning of important buildings like federal courthouses. And they stand for fake news. A lot of them stand for fake news. A lot of them subscribe only to CNN and MSNBC. They see nothing else out there. They see the fake news. They say, oh, well, Trump deployed the military and federal agents to the protesters in Portland. But he was really deploying federal agents to defend the federal courthouse out there. That federal courthouse stands for all those things. That federal courthouse, though it may be run by Democrats at times, still stands for America, still stands for the Constitution. He was out there to defend that. And that is exactly what we all stand for, what we all should stand for. Generation Z is a generation that is not lost quite yet. And I'm here to show all of you that. You guys may have sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, and you may, be, you may be worried about them. You may think, well, even if they stand for these types of things, look at what the rest of them stand for. They stand for pedophilia at times. They stand for the hyper extinction of the LGBT community, past anything that is legal or anything that is morally correct. They stand for no morals. They don't have morality. They stand for the destruction of everything this nation stands for. So this is what you need to do. You need to reach your grandchildren. You need to reach your children, and they may think, Especially if they're on the left wing. Oh well, he or she is a Trump supporter. My grand, my grandma or my, my parents are Trump supporters. They don't they don't stand for the things that they stand for. They don't stand for generation. Z. They don't stand for the LGBT community. They don't stand for Black Lives. You need to come to them and say, I stand for every single thing you stand for. But I also say that this is what we need to do. We need to support America because America stands for Black Lives. Though maybe in the past it has moved forward. I'm not one to always preach about diversity, but we have had two black speakers, and counting myself, three black speakers here already so far that stand for the same thing that I stand for, that stand for the same thing that all of you stand for. And they stand for America. We've had some LGBT speakers. We had Mike Carlo, we have Brandon Strzok who's gonna come back. They stand for America. So it's time to shatter the narrative that all LGBT people hate America. It's time to shatter the narrative that all black people are oppressed and they hate America. It's time to shatter the narrative that all Generation Zers, all kids, all teenagers like myself hate America. It may seem hopeless at times when you look at all those groups, black people, LGBT people, Latino people, and Generation Zers, but we need to stand up and say, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stay silent. I'm going to encourage every single person I know to walk away. I'm going to encourage all these kids I know to think for themselves. I'm going to be involved in the creation of a generation of free thinkers. And I'm going to change America. I'm not going to let it fall to the wayside. I'm not going to let it die. I'm not going to let it burn down what they want to do to it. I'm going to save this nation, and we're going to do it together. We're all going to walk away. Whether you've already walked away from the Democrat Party, it's time to walk away from fear. It's time to walk away from hopelessness. It's time to walk away from corruption. It's time to walk away from voting for the same thing you've always voted for. It's time to walk away from stereotypes. It's time to walk away from pandering. And it's time to walk away from Democrats. <laughs>